Hey, Veraverse change making friends. Um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we took a break, so we've been gone a minute. Um, another break, I guess. Um, this one, though, was really more for you than for us. Well, okay, maybe a little bit for us too. But the reason being is that we really have been questioning the stress and the overwhelm that is the end of the year and the holiday season. We're making the end of the year so much harder and more stressful than other parts of the year. And it's become this sprint of shopping and working, having to work so hard just to make sure that you can kind of let go and enjoy and be mindful those few holidays that you get off, right? And worst of all, we kind of immediately start thinking about the next year and resolutions and feeling bad about ourselves at the end of the year because we didn't achieve our resolutions from that year before. And we're already thinking about the next ones, feeling sad because we didn't reach them. Maybe that's why, because we're in this cycle of things that isn't quite, it's not a healthy cycle. It's, it's not a virtuous one. It's a vicious one. <sighs> November and December really kind of seem to shine a light on the fact that work is colliding and distorting our ability to enjoy the simple things. And it's not just work. It's just all of it. Like our ability to live and love these simple things are difficult. And it, to me, it seems like the end of the year should be a time to kind of live in gratitude and with loved ones and even just rest after a year of working our freaking faces off, right? Um, that seems to make a lot of sense, I, I think. So rather than adding to the noise of the world at the end of the year, we decided to just disappear and go quiet for a little bit. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of shit to do too. <laughs> to finish the year and don't think me, I don't sense the irony here, but, uh, but we do have some cool stuff. We've been jamming on some projects. We're going to have some immersive sustainability workshops for you, which we are so excited about. Um, those are going to launch in March and, you know, we'll, we'll talk more about that later next week. We'll, we'll get to that. But for now, we really want to express the gratitude for you. Yeah, seriously, you this sustainability champion, change maker, dreamer, um, somebody who is, is taking steps each day, each week, each month, every couple times a year, it doesn't matter, whatever. You're taking steps to turn your dream of a slightly better and healthier world into a sustainable reality, the dawning of a new day, so to speak. We're really thankful for what you do and having your presence in our lives. Like really thankful. And furthermore, we're thankful for you believing in this vision, even when you've had to look through the foggy abyss that's come from our kind of meandering exploration. And uh, trust us, we, I, we know, we, we know, we're, we're working at it. Um, so thank you for riding with us and hanging with us and inspiring us. 2021, whew, it was a different sort of year for the Vera Vigilantes, your Viridescent co-founders, it was an experiment. We were trying to not just build this strange business of ourselves, but really ourselves. And on a quest to writing the origin stories for our own sustainability alter ego so that we can help you do that for yours. But we have to figure out what the hell that means. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, Chance? <laughs> so many people will ask me, right? I, 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 I kind of knew, I kind of get it. Um, but I also didn't. And so we needed time. And here is what we have found. We're excited about what we found. Sometimes it feels like society has us, want, has us contributing to this kind of larger thing. And that's good because we should be contributing to society. It's important to like be giving back or supporting and helping and um, whatnot. But there are times I think where it feels like we're contributing to this almost machine-like design that we're a part of some formula or code that is being written and solved, executed by a machine that's so much bigger than us and doesn't have our best interests at, at heart because it doesn't really have a heart. It is for the sake of growing gross domestic product. And again, that can be a really good thing, but we've had enough of that very like 
machine-like kind of view of it. And that's why we're planning to offer the sustainability industry and humans in general a way of living, working, and existing something a little bit different. Because life isn't about solving some equation. It's about experiencing it. We spend so much time looking for what lies kind of off into the future as change makers. And I think that we sometimes forget to enjoy the beauty of what is already around us each and every day. We forget to trust in the process of each day and the work that will guide us to where we want to go. But rather than kind of spending all our time working to build a sustainable way of life, we could just simply start living it each day, each day. So our definition of sustainability after living through what is 2020 and 2021, kind of this is like a two-year thing, um, at least for me. Sustainability is about enhancing the experience of living and contributing with a purpose, hence the whole immersive sustainability thing. And whether it be quality of living, length of living, purpose of being alive, humanity is uniquely built to understand the special existence that is life on this planet. And of course, as such, we have a responsibility to steward a sustainable planet so that life can thrive, not just for those with a higher intellect or species with a higher intellect, but animals too, right? Um, I mean, life is about living. So we should do that. We should be able to live as long and sustainably as we can. But our view is that the current state of things, not so conducive to a thriving life. How do we know this? Well, humanity's ever-evolving quest for growth and greatness is proving to be our downfall, isn't it? I mean, COVID is killing and disrupting. Poverty divides are widening. All with climate change looming loud and proud. Our ability to trust our neighbor, the friend someone with different views, it's dissipating. You can thank the media, particularly social media for that. Um, though there's some good things trying to push back on that and find a healthier kind of rediscovering journalism and, you know, unbiased on kind of <laughs> news. <laughs> um, it's not really news. It's, it's the social media stuff. It's rough. And that is one of the many things that's contributing to our pace of life is faster than ever. There are things coming at us all the time. And as we desperately seek convenience to keep up with it all, we're dropping more trash on our planet. And we're becoming more and more reliant upon these big systems, mega corporations, governments, you know, to do everything for us, save us, fix our problems, make our lives easier and better. And as a result, our collective sense of empowerment and freedom is becoming harder and harder to find and harder and harder and harder to find. So Viridescent is taking a stand as we're known to do. Walking away from this ambition that has been making us so-called heroes for the status quo with sustainability champions, right? And start walking towards a new way of life that reinforces our values, family, friends, community, purpose, passion, love, honor, just to name a few things. And I think this list of things is something that all humans can agree that they want out of life. How we get there, how we do it, we're going to disagree about that stuff, of course, but we should be able to live with those things intact in whatever way that makes sense for us, for the most part, unless it's like totally reckless, you know, there's some of that happening too, I suppose. But what we found as we started walking this slightly different path is that we never, is we never felt quite like this before. We are no longer We're no longer just bricks in this like machine-like wall. We're, we're unique individuals. We're unique people. We're individuals that can, can build our own integrated and, and kind of a circular system to the way we live. We can integrate a healthier flow that, that mixes play, health, love, work, all into this kind of balanced and sustainable system, life, life system. And we're here to tell you you are not just another brick either. You're already doing it. You're already expressing your uniqueness. You're genuine, passionate dreamers, change makers. And we get to say this stuff about you because we know pretty much everybody that's a part of this community. 
And we're proud to say that because that's kind of the point, honestly. And all great movements start with a small group of individuals that who let together trust each other, believe in each other, and believe that they can change the world. That's how it starts. Look up the Margaret Mead quote, speaks to it directly. Okay, an acknowledgement. You might be thinking, okay, yeah, privileged white dude. This all sounds like the words of those that have freedom and privilege. Not everybody has this ability to take stands this intense. That's true. And that's why we encourage you to, to take the stand that makes sense for you and your circumstances in your life. Um, because maybe it isn't about walking away from the life that you're living, but maybe it's just about walking the life you are living just a little bit differently. And whether you're working inside the system or outside the system or wherever, living wherever, there's, there's something special in you that the world needs. The world needs you and, and what's in your heart. And that's what we're here for. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Our mentorship, storytelling, all this stuff, we want to help you unlock the balance change maker from within yourself. One that helps you kind of intersect purpose and peace in this place where it becomes almost like a prosperous, balanced, healthy economy for people like you that are willing to stand up for what they believe in. Yes, that is our ambition, is to try to create a change maker's economy. So we invite you to jump back on the Viridescent Mothership once again, once again. <laughs> but this time, buckle up, because this shit is about to get a lot more real. And together, we're going to conquer the struggle, the struggle, because it is a struggle, of the sustainability champion. How do we turn this dream of ours for a better world into a sustainable reality? For the Vera Vigilantes, we're gonna start by questioning everything. Bridging the gap between the old world and the new one and helping people cross it. Shining a light into the darkness, showcasing the beauty of our very amazing natural and human world too. And we're gonna ride the silver linings of life to the steady heartbeat of the universe, this most magical universe that we're all lucky enough to be in. Whatever the hell any of that means. <laughs> Sign with Philo Timo, your Vera Vigilantes. P.S. Before you go. Basically, we're just here to help you live the life you want, not the one that society says you must, because only you have the choice to live the life that you want. But it does require that ability to at least stand up just a little bit, just a little bit, not just to society, but to yourself. Because that's usually the biggest thing that is standing in the way of your own liberation. Well, you know, and also things like systemic racism, lack of education, <laughs> barely livable wages, and uh, many other unsustainable systems. But we stand against these barriers, and we want to stand with you, committed to deconstructing them together. See you next week. Later, friends. <laughs>